So if you like me and you like a free performance boost and you've got one of the new Nitro 5s, Acer have actually been fairly active with BIOS updates and VBIOS updates, which is very handy. So my findings on it, the VBIOS on mine was typically running at 80 watts and I've been reading and a few people have told me that there's a, been an update of the firmware or the VBIOS for the 3060 to run at 85 watts. So what I'm going to do is download that and install it. As you can see, that only came out in May or late May. And if you have a look here, there's also plenty of BIOS updates. So they've been definitely patching stuff, which is normally pretty rare, but I'm all for it. So I'm gonna download the latest VBIOS as well. Or oh, sorry, the latest BIOS, which is version 2.03. And I'll begin with the firmware. So we'll drop and drag that onto the desktop. And let's give that a run. So I'm assuming I'm going to run just a single executable there, but I best have a look at the instructions. Please plug in AC adapter. Upgrade system BIOS to latest. Now let's do that first then. Execute the bat file. Yes. And follow the prompts. So I'm going to take its advice, go back here, go to the BIOS, open it up, which I'd assume will operate in a very standard Acer way. Drop and drag to the desktop as well. And we'll have a look at the README, how to update. Click and run under Windows. Easy. Double click. Yes. Play the brief waiting game. I'm assuming an application will pop up. Like this one. Warning about update your firmware. Yes. So as you can see, I was actually in version 2.01. And this is upping it to version 2.03. And now we play the restart game. So all fairly simple stuff if you've never done this before. This is all extremely straightforward and also very normal for pretty much all major manufacturers these days. As you can see, here we go. System fans have kicked into full force. It also requests to be on power just so there's minimal chance of a major stuff up. So we'll just continue and let it wait.
So now with our BIOS updated, let's proceed and do the vBIOS, which should also be fairly straightforward as well. So it says to run the batch script, which would be this one here. And if I double tap on that, it gives us a warning to run it. I'm going to go run anyway. And of course it wants UAC, so we go yes. And now we play the waiting game. So I'll just angle it so you guys can see that a bit better. The display may go blank on and off for up to six seconds during the access to the EEPROM on your display adapter and output device. It will begin in three seconds. Update will begin. Here we go. Firmware image has been successfully updated from 94.06 to 94.06.19. Restart is required. Press any key to continue. Now, looks like it's not automatically restarting for me. So I will just proceed and do that. Tap, tap, tap. And fingers crossed, we will return. And good old Steam is stopping the computer from restarting. And let's see where we get to. If we get an image, we know we're good. Bingo! So now I'm just going to fire up the game. I'm not sure which yet. Possibly GTA 5. Something that I don't require to actually play to get it to, up to the certain frame rate we need. And see what we get. Hopefully we can now get 85 watts. Curious to see if this will make much of an impact on audio. But for now, I would say we're good. I just loaded up Cyberpunk, which I thought may be a better test. And as you can see, we're hitting around 81, 82 watts, which is a little bit more than what it was doing. It did spike up to about 88 a couple of times now, but I think mainly being the CPUs maxing us out. I think it's struggling on this particular game to get up to that 85 watt that I've read that it gets up to. Fan noise is about the same as what it was. Maybe a little bit louder. And as I'm playing, you will see that spike up to potentially around 85 watts. Just saw 84 just a second ago. 82. So, a little bit of extra free power. A bit of headroom there. So, if you've got it, potentially worthwhile doing it. Especially if you can tolerate the fan noise. Or the potential louder fan noises. But uh, essentially, free performance. Why not? Anyway, that will do for today, and I'll see you later. Bye.